In parts of Idaho, the magma couldn't break through the ground and kept pushing everything up. As the magma got closer to the surface, it began to cool, first the outside edges, and that trapped all the hot gases and liquid inside. A mass of molten rock kept pushing upward and cooling at the same time. If the magma breaks the surface, it's called a volcano. If it doesn't, it's called a batholith. And as the batholith cooled, it cracked, and other kinds of rocks and minerals filled in the gaps. Some minerals are more valuable than others, like gold and silver and precious gems. Miners know if they can find the right cracks in the rocks, they can strike it rich. Idaho has a giant batholith. The granite peaks of the mountains soar high into the sky. Mountains like the Clearwater, the Bitterroots, and the Sawtooth Range. The wind and snow and rain have eroded away the topsoil, and you can see the rocks. Giant floods, thousands of years ago, also shaped much of Idaho. Earthquakes, too, have helped shape Idaho's land. In October of 1983, the ground began to shake and split open. In Chalice, a building crumbled and two schoolchildren were killed. 39 homes and 11 businesses were seriously damaged. The buildings just couldn't take the shaking. The earthquake caused a huge mudslide at Birch Springs. An instant lake appeared at the base of Mount Bora, Idaho's highest mountain, and then Bora itself froze six inches and then fell back to its original height. It's just that kind of geological activity that's provided the essential ingredients for some of the most beautiful stones in the world, like these aquamarine crystals currently on loan to the Smithsonian Institute, and these opals from Spencer, Idaho, and of course, the state's official gem, the star garnet. We have a whole series of minerals made of silicon, oxygen, aluminum, and iron, many other things that occur at different pressures and temperatures. Just sort of pick your pressure and temperature and I'll give you a mineral. Or you can go in the lab and make a mineral. And as you change the pressures and temperatures, you change the minerals that are present. For me, they're a passion. You're mining for these gemstones and, and the frenzy starts when you get one of these stones and it's like a rift off of an electric guitar when you find one of these things and it's incredibly intense and that's why I do it. I do it for the excitement. The excitement of finding one of these gemstones and knowing absolutely that I am the first person ever to see this. Idaho, with its amazing variety of rocks and minerals, truly is the gem state.